Hello there. Welcome to a tyke farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ding a ling ding dong, the bell. It's Thursday morning, quarter to seven. I think there's four, maybe five men on site with a drilling crew. Um, we'll have Win and Ramelin any time now. They'll continue with the fence. Um, the drillers, maybe they'll be down to death today, I don't know. But there's a lot of men on site, five of them, or at least four anyway. Um, he brought the pump this morning. They were here about, I don't know, quarter past five. Um, we were just opening the shop when they arrived. So, as usual, I'll make a couple of videos throughout the day and we'll get back to you shortly. It's 11.30. We've been down Compostela this morning, getting permits, that's a fire certificate. We've got a, a business permit up there. All sorts of bloody bureaucracy. So we'll go and have a look what we've done this morning. Oh, we've got another 10 bottles of water. Every time we go downtown, we seem to be getting 10 bottles. Um, we do sell the full bottles on an exchange basis. I think I've said on the previous video, normally if to change a bottle, they have to tip it out into their bottle um, because they're frightened of losing their own bottles. We just exchange the bottles. All ours are new at the moment, but that means we get old bottles. But providing they don't leak and they've got a cap on, we, we just exchange them. It's easier. So we're selling a few, but mostly we're using them as self. Gino sells two bottles full of water every day in uh, ice water and ice. Um, which is a lot of bloody little packets of polythene bags full of water or ice. Same difference. So we're getting through the water. I think she said she's making a couple hundred, selling uh, 200 pesos worth of ice a day or some damn thing. So what they're doing here this morning, or they've made up a third Rio bar. So we've got all the posts made up. Um, the three holes dug, which we've still got, and that where they pulled that stump out. Now, what they're doing now is bagging sand and cement. Uh, ready to pour concrete, I would think tomorrow they'll erect the VO bar and box it off. I've ordered more cement and timber and all, all sorts of different pieces they're going to need. Now with, uh, I think, five drillers on site this morning, before I left, but two of them have gone, I think it's that direction, another mountain, they're doing the um, ground ra radar up there, and if they get that job, what will happen is they'll leave here and go straight onto that job. So it's very busy. Now, I don't know how deep we are, I'll, I'll try and find out, I'll get Gene to ask him. Um, see if we're anywhere near depth. But I, from what I was saying, it's going to be finished here. Um, this week. So the pigs are cleaned out. And washed. Um, 
And then he'll, he'll feed them. So we'll have a look at the dillers. We've got three men on site. And we're drilling away. And we'd like to share the grey now, so we're in another start of soil or rock or whatever it is. Still eight lengths of um, tubing on the ground, so I think there's still a bit a, a, a bit further to go. Um, that is a bit a hard bit again. I don't know. I'll see if I can find out. So we'll leave this video. Oh. Um, what else I ordered downtown was two banners to go in front of the Savvy Savvy shop. Uh, they're being printed up now. We'll probably get them picked up this afternoon. And maybe tomorrow we'll get them hung and uh, that'll finish off the Savvy Savvy shop at the front. And I'll uh, show you what it's like tomorrow probably. I need to order a sunshade for the seat because the Wi-Fi thingamajig is going to be fitted shortly. So I'll leave this video there and do another one this evening. Ten past five, another day done. Uh, we've got the Post set plumbed in. Oh, we've got four posts in. Uh, so they'll be concreted tomorrow. Uh, forms for up, ready for concreting. Small people behind the counter. <laughs> So we'll go and see what we're doing down the uh, bottom with the drillers. I've had um, water carters in all day. The tank, it, this tank uh, for the cabin are full, the two of them. And um, the header tank's about half full. Uh, it's costing me just over a thousand pesos a day at the minute So it adds up this water bill, but That's how it's got to be Unless we get some rain or this uh, well's completed The pigs are cleaned out They were washed this morning They're looking a bit dirty now, but They're all looking good. <laughs> so we'll see what the... I was told again today... I think they tell me what they think they want me to hear. We're a hundred foot deep. But I'm pretty sure they told me they were a hundred foot deep yesterday and the day before <laughs> but they are drilling into rock at the moment the sediment coming up is sand but if it was a layer of sand 
then it would go through that quite easily. So it's obviously hard rock and it's biting a little bit at a time off. Um, there's the sediment that's coming up. It was quite coarse initially and then it got a bit finer. But it's still on the same pipe. They've been drilling all afternoon and they've gone down about two metres, I think, six foot. Is about what they've got. So it's hard going for them. So I'll leave this video there <coughs> and um, we'll do another video tomorrow. I, I didn't mention but uh, materials delivered again today. <coughs> um, we've got some more cement, 20 bags and uh, we've ordered two loads of sand and two loads of gravel so that will be maybe tomorrow um, yeah 20 bags of cement then so i'll leave this video there and we'll do another one tomorrow <coughs>